What's popping, Funko fans? I am Robbie Diltz, you are you, and you're watching my new YouTube series, Funko Pop Weekly, where I will be going around to various retail locations where pop vinyls are sold, and I will see what they have in store. Today I am heading to the mall with my buddy Dylan, and we are going to check out EB Games and Dollarama. So, let's get started. <laughs> So I'm here at the mall with Dylan, and we're going to EB Games now, doing some Funko hunting. Right, so we just left EB, I just picked up three new pops, and I will show them off to you probably when I get home, or maybe if we're still hanging around the mall, I'll show them a little bit, but we'll see. Alright, so Dylan and I are in Dollarama now here at the mall, and they have two Disney pops here. One is... Isabel and Mateo, which has really bad box damage. Um, but that seems to be it for the ones here at Dollarama. Um, didn't film an EB because, you know, there's only Dylan and I in there, but yeah, I'll show you my pops when I get home. All right, so we are back from the mall. I picked up the $2 Funko Pop Protector cases. I picked up four of them. Uh, there's three of them here, and then of course the fourth one I put together. I tried doing this scene once already, but the camera knocked over as soon as I was about to pick up a pop and put it in the protector case, so that's unfortunate. However, I will be putting a couple of my pops in the protector cases during this episode later on. Now before I show you guys which pop vinyl figures I picked up, I want to give some shout outs on this very first episode of Funko Pop Weekly. Now, the first two shoutouts goes out to two close friends of mine who run a Funko Popcast. That's literally what it's called, a Funko Popcast. I will link their channel in the description below. They also have Instagram, which I will put in the description below as well. Really great friends of mine, and uh, I definitely think that you should check them out. Uh, they are one of my inspirations as to why I started this YouTube series but most importantly two other guys who I follow and they follow me back on Instagram and one of them you know as Top Pops or Tristan and uh, the other one is Ride the Pop Guy I will link their channels in the description below as well and they are really great guys, really great YouTubers. They have great content, as well as the guys from the Funko Podcast. I want to thank each one of you guys for being the inspiration to starting this YouTube series. And, you know, I hope there's more videos to come. So, again, thank you guys. Of course, like I said, their Instagram handles will be in the description, as well as the links to their YouTube channels. So, go check them out. Now... The moment you guys have been waiting for, the revealing of which pop vinyl figures I picked up today. And the first one is from the Disney Mickey the True Original 90 Years Collection and it's number 515. It's an EB Games exclusive gamer Mickey. Now hopefully you can see that. Mickey's sitting there with the controller and he has a green or, well actually it looks yellow to me, a headset on. And uh, there's the side view, hopefully you can see that. And the box art on the side there. And uh, really great pop, really great box, that's for sure. Uh, my buddy actually pointed this one out to me today and uh, I looked at it, it has the EB exclusive sticker on it so I like had to pick it up. And it's also Mickey Mouse so why not, right? Uh, the box is in pretty good condition. Oh, and I also forgot to point out on the back of the box, we have Band Conductor Mickey, Playing Crazy, as well as Holiday Mickey. And you'll be seeing me obviously look at them to basically cheat to tell you which ones they are, but that's okay. So, there is Gamer Mickey. Um, place that one off to the side there. 
No, yeah, I'll keep it there. Now, the next two pups that I picked up, one was from the original Toy Story Wave, and the other one was from the Toy Story 4 Wave, and they're both basically the same character, uh, but obviously different. And uh, this one is number 517 from the original Toy Story Wave, and that is Bo Peep, with her dress and bonnet on, and she has her cane, and uh, you can see there the side view, hopefully. Again, the box is in really good condition, so shout out to EB Games for having the box in really good condition. Um, there's the cider, and on the back we have Woody, Buzz, and Ham, as well as uh, Rex, Slinky Dog, Bo Peep, which obviously this is the Bo Peep. We've got Mrs. Nesbitt, Wheezy, and Bullseye. Now. I have wanted to pick up Slinky Dog, uh, but I looked at the one that they had today and it had some box damage, so that kind of threw me away from picking it up today, obviously. But uh, yeah, this would be the first original Toy Story Wave Pop that I picked up. So this will be actually one of the ones that I will throw in this already made Pop Protector case. So. Yeah, very nice. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. And, uh, yeah, close it up just like that. There you go. Bo Peep. Um, I'll put that there. Hopefully, she doesn't fall. I mean, it's in a prop protector case, but no promises. <laughs> And finally, from the Toy Story 4 wave, number 524, it is Bo Peep with Officer Giggle McDimples, and a really great pop. Uh, the only box damage that I notice, but it's not too noticeable, is a little dent on the side where the side art is, um, but once it's in the protector case, it shouldn't be too noticeable, hopefully. So there's the front view with Bo Peep in her like cape and overalls and everything in her new attire. And she's got her cane and uh, Officer Giggle McDimples down there beside her. Um, so cool. Love this pop. Glad I got it for my collection. Um, on the back, you can see, um, hopefully, if I showed up high enough, I've got Sheriff Woody, who I picked up uh, the last time I went to EB Games, as well as Buzz Lightyear, who I also got. Bull Peep with Giggle McDimples, who I got now. Uh, we have Alien, Jesse, Gabby Gabby, who I picked up as well. Um, not today, obviously, but the last time I was at EB Games. We have Forky. We have Duke Kaboom, who I saw today, but didn't pick up. We have Combat Carl Jr., who I also, I believe, saw today. Ducky, who I would absolutely love to get in my collection. And Bunny, who I already have in my collection as well. So, there you have it. Bo Peep. Again... Three great pops, and uh, I'm glad I got these for my collection today. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to go like, comment, and subscribe, because I will be doing lots more Funko hunting, and uh, yeah, you know what? I'll put one of these pop protector cases together and hopefully put in Bo Peep with Mrs. Officer Gaggle McDimples. I almost said Mrs. Nesbitt, but uh, it's Officer Giggle McDimples. So again, I'm putting these pop protector cases together are a little weird because they end up like all crooked like when you put them together. I'm going to hopefully uh, see if I can redo this. It's like, there we go, kind of. Uh, fold in the flaps on the side here, and then you could fold down the lid. And, of course, the part that shuts the protector case as well. For that. And, uh, hopefully my phone doesn't fall over for this tape. Um, but here we go. Yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can get Bo Peep in here carefully. Um, 
I don't like how these are constructed. Um, but yeah, obviously it's taken me a little while to get Bo Peep in there. Her and Officer Giggle McDimples do not want to go in. They are putting up a fight, as they would. Um, Toy Story 4 was a really great movie. Um, I didn't cry. You cried. <laughs> um, there we go. Slides in there just like that. Side flaps down, and there you have it. Bo Peep and Officer Giggle McDimples. Again guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified on when I upload. I will be trying to have an episode per week, obviously as the title is Funko Pop Weekly. And if you want to see more of this content in the future, like I said earlier, make sure to like, comment, and of course subscribe. Do all that, but this has been an episode of Funko Pop Weekly. Sorry Top Pops, I'm stealing your gimmick here. Until next time guys, thanks for watching, and keep popping. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Andy Colonico and Revive the Rose for my intro and outro music. Thank you guys so much, and see you next time.